<laughs> the difference is, I guess there is no difference, but like in the perfect world, the money would go straight to the artist to help fund their career, you know? True. And then if they blow up and they're like, yo, I want my song back, I guess they could just buy it back. Buybacks would be fun. <laughs> Buybacks would be fun. Plus they get royalties. So every time I sell my Doja Cat song from 2013, she would get but a it's percentage. Like, but... Who's going to pay 10x on a Doja Cat song? At the top, maybe at the top of a bubble. Top of a bubble. Well, it depends. Doja Ooh. Cat is an artist that makes a lot of money and owning one of her songs. I'm talking like owning the songs. Like I get the IP, I get the rights. Every time it makes money, I make money. So it's in... how many songs now? Are you, are, are you just going to saturate the heck out of songs now? How much does a and even com, within mine his superstardom? Snoop Dogg probably has over. Like if you go to, to the Death Row NFT OpenSea page, there's yeah. a lot of songs that you could buy, right? And uh -huh. it's pretty saturated. So how much worth does one song? I'm a very, very important artist if they have millions of songs. If one artist has millions of songs? Value investing. Well, it depends. <laughs> this is it, everyone just read the value investor and then find out if you can if you want to buy Snoop Dogg songs. Well, it depends on what the market is willing to pay for it. So I'm you know how I'm trying to buy 30x for a song. E and collectors of artists and stuff. Well, you absolutely. You know how I'm always talking about I want to buy Triangle Fires Masters? Sure. Like this is this is what i'm talking about so like super people that are already famous i believe if this were already going on like their catalogs their music would be like unaffordable to most people they would price it so high probably higher than it needs to be just so people don't buy the Wu -Tang, it the wu-tang record that's great yeah 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 like fucking um like who's who's famous but not super famous i don't know like fucking big sean or something Big Sean is like, uh, like, oh, I have this album I made in 2012, and like, it has ten songs on it. Each song is for sale, and then like me, I'm a super huge Big Sh Sean fan. A big Big Sean. I, I want to buy his first album or a couple songs off his first album because you know it's like it's important to me as a fan. And then I don't know how much bigger Big Sean's gonna get, but if Big Sean dies or something, knock on wood. Like the fucking music will probably like get a little bit more valuable, you know. I don't know. There's a lot of factors at play here. I want high returns, or you just gotta buy in the top point one percent of the industry. The returns could be high if it's like a very commercial artist and oh, their geez. music is played everywhere. Oh, Jay Z's records. I like like Kendrick Lamar. Damn record that was on like literally that was playing on the NBA for years. You know, what if I was getting royalty off that? Because I own that's the interesting. Songs. I like yeah. that more. If you buy a record and as that NFT owner, you get payoff from the back of syndication and commercializing. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like when you own the song, you own the song. Oh, that's more fun. So if I own the song and then I see it on a and movie trailer and I'm not getting money, then I can sue. I'd be like, yo, I own this song. Here's proof. You're gonna need some lawyers, bro. Yeah, that that could be contract. uh that could be like the new fucking copyright. You're gonna need a lot of smart contracts.